Turning now to Kern's homeless crisis, community members today came together to mourn the loss of a beloved friend and a client of the St. Vincent de Paul Center. 17 Cecilia Trevino joins us in studio tonight with more on how he's being remembered. Cecilia? Tommy, it was a heartfelt service this afternoon with friends and loved ones of Preston Muskis. The center says it is a priority to give their goodbyes with dignity. With love and remembrance, friends of Preston Anthony Muskis gathered to say goodbye at St. Vincent de Paul Society. Muskis was homeless and passed the night of August 23rd on Baker Street in front of the center. Oscar Zuberan says this affected the homeless community. You know, they asked us, you know, can you do something for us? Can you help us? Bring us together. We're scared. We're nervous. You know, so that's what we decided to do, a memorial service and a prayer service. A prayer service for all of our homeless guests and, and to pray out all the evils that they see on a daily basis. Um, you know, sex trafficking, drug use, prostitution, violence. Subaran says this year the center has lost around half a dozen clients in the past six months. The Kern County Sheriff's Office said as of September 12, 2023, the coroner has investigated 69 deaths confirmed as unsheltered so far this year. If the coroner is unable to identify a family member, the remains will be cremated. Subaran says every circumstance is different as communication with the family of the homeless is not always solid. But at the center, dignity is a priority. Everyone deserves a good goodbye and hopefully before that good goodbye, they, our homeless guests receive constant hellos. You know, what we try to do here is, is recognize each, per, each person by name. It, that way they show that they have dignity and, and it helps them get through that day. As for Preston Muskis' friends, they remember him with love. Even though he was doing bad and stuff, he always had time for everybody else. He tried. He's, we had a light in him, you know, but he's going to be missed. Missed by a lot of different people. St. Vincent de Paul will hold their annual fall barbecue fundraiser that is coming up on October 5th. You can find more information through our website at kdet.com. In studio, Cecilia Trevino, 17 News. All right, Cecilia, thank you.